Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we'll end our discussion on monosaccharides. So in monosaccharides, what, did, what all did we learn? We saw that monosaccharides are the simplest sugars which cannot be further hydrolyzed. So we have discussed mainly two monosaccharides that is glucose and fructose. Their open structures, their cyclic structures, how they can be prepared. So now let us talk about the next group of um, carbohydrates that is disaccharides. That is those carbohydrates which on hydrolysis gives two units of monosaccharides. So some common examples of uh, disaccharides would be sucrose, sucrose which is the cane sugar, uh, lactose the sugar which is present in milk and maltose the sugar which is present in vegetables and germinating seeds so these these three are very common examples of disaccharides which which uh, consist of two monosaccharide units so here you can look at the structure of sucrose so this is the structure of sucrose so you can see this is one glucose unit and one fructose unit and they are joined together by a glycosidic linkage so that is the structure of sucrose. So when we talk about disaccharides, so disaccharides on hydrolysis, what will it give? It will give two monosaccharides, two units of monosaccharides. So again, an important point to note here is that those two units of monosaccharides can be same or different. For example, in case of sucrose, the two units are glucose and fructose. So they are different. But when you talk about uh, maltose, you have both the units same. Now what happens the other way around? How the monosaccharides are joined together? That is by the process of dehydration synthesis. So that it has been shown here. So if you, has a if you have a glucose and a fructose, what happens? This OH and this OH will come together, so it will lose one H2O. So this is called dehydration synthesis. Dehydration synthesis. Dehydration because it is take, pulling out one water molecule. Synthesis because it is synthesizing something. It is forming a new, uh, a new unit. So that is how a glycosidic bond is formed. That is. COC. This is a glycosidic linkage. So this linkage between two monosaccharide units which occur due to a loss of water molecule to form a disaccharide is known as a glycosidic linkage. So please remember this concept of glycosidic bond formation. Now let us look at some of the examples of disaccharides. Sucrose which is made up of glucose and Fructose, sucrose is made up of glucose and fructose. Maltose, which is present in the germinating seeds like uh, uh, barley or it is also present in vegetables like uh, a potato and all other stuffs. Lactose, which is present in milk. So lactose, the word lactate, lactic acid, lactose word is related to milk. So lactose is present in milk. So these are some of the very common examples of disaccharides. So here if you see maltose is made up of glucose and glucose that is two units of glucose. When you look at lactose it is made up of one unit of glucose and one unit of galactose. So the, these are some of the very common examples of disaccharides. Now let us talk about some of the disaccharides. So first we'll talk about sucrose. So sucrose is an organic compound which is commonly known as stable sugar. This is C12H22O11. This is sucrose. 
So how is sucrose formed? Again, see everywhere it is the same concept, the same things. Just that I'm trying to uh, provide a separate slide for each of them so that it, it for a better understanding of yours. So when you talk about sucrose, it is one glucose. So this is one glucose unit and one fructose unit. They will join together. They lose one water molecule. So by this process, it will form sucrose by formation of this glycosidic bond. So this is how sucrose will be formed from glucose and fructose. Similarly, on sucrose hydrolysis, it will give an equimolar mixture of glucose and fructose. So sucrose, when hydrolyzed, that is when water is added, it will give glucose and fructose. So this is how the structure will look like. This OH bonds will come and the glycosidic bond will be broken down. Sucrose is dextrorotatory but after hydrolysis gives levorotatory mixture. So when you look at the chemistry of each of these compounds, it is found that sucrose is dextrorotatory. Whereas both glucose and fructose, both of them are levorotatory. So it is, uh, it is something very surprising that sucrose on hydrolysis gives two units which are both levorotatory. So that is why it is often known as invert sugar. That is it gets inverted, the nature of it gets inverted. Now, if you want to get better understanding of dextrorotatory, levorotatory, please refer chemistry videos because I'm not good getting into those details because I'm assuming that you know all those stuff from your chemistry knowledge. So, let us talk about maltose. Maltose is composed of two glucose units in which C1 of one glucose is linked to C4 of another glucose. So, if you see this carbon, Carbon 1 is linked with carbon 4 by this glycosidic linkage or glycosidic bond, whatever you call it. So, two units of glucose. So, this is an example of a disaccharide which is made up of two similar monosaccharides. So, on hydrolysis of maltose, you will get two similar units. The third one that is lactose. It is commonly known as milk sugar. So generally you would have observed that anything related to milk is named after lact. For example, for kids you have lactogen because that is a substitute for milk. Uh, you call lactation period for women when they are feeding their babies. Uh, so you call lactic acid. It is something related to milk. Again, lactose, it is the sugar which is present in milk. It is composed of galactose and glucose. So here you can see the linkage between C1 and C4 carbon atoms. So this is the glycosidic bond. It is made up of these two. So this bond is formed by loss of one water molecule. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.